My name is Mitzi Sorrells, and I'm the cataloger and special collections librarian at PCM, and I'll be your presenter at today's Lunch and Learn. We're going to look at the LWW Help Library ebook collection and highlight some of the tools and features. In the chat box, you will find contact information for me and the library for any questions that you may have. And you can also find this information on the library's website. Our address is just library.p2m.edu. And if you click on About in the top menu bar, you can select Contact Us and see the information for all of our campuses here. And then down in the bottom right-hand corner, there's also a chat box that you can utilize. So please feel free to contact us at any time. Barbara Wood will be monitoring the chat box, so please feel free to post any questions there as we go along. And we should also have a few minutes at the end for questions as well. So when using eBooks as well as other library resources, especially off campus, as so many of us are now, the best place to start is at the PCM Library homepage here. And as you go through your search, you are going to be prompted to log in with your PCM network ID and password. If you attempt to go directly to an eBook vendor's website, it's not going to recognize you're connected with PCM and you won't be able to access the content. So it's really important to start here. And we're going to go to the LWW Help Library to get to that. We'll start with collections here in the top menu bar. And then you want to select eBooks. And this takes us to our eBook LibGuide. On the left side, you're going to see the top eBook titles by subject. We're going to scroll down to eBook collections. And I'll click on this. And this section in the middle, this is a list of all of our ebook collections. And the library has um, licensed content for use for the PCM community. They're all alphabetical order here. I'm going to scroll down to the LWW section. And I'll just click on something to get into it. And this will take us to the LWW Health Library. And I'm going just to go to the main page. And when you get here, um, I'm signed into my personal account. If you don't have one, you'll have the option to create one here. And some reasons why you may want to do that, it's going to allow you to personalize the self-assessment experience. You'll be able to print. You can save um, content to your favorites. And also, it's going to provide off-campus access. So what happens when you're on campus, um, you'll be logged in with a token, it'll recognize our IP range, and you'll have access for 90 days, continuous access, and then after that, it will refresh every 90 days, so you would come back to campus and log back in, and then you would have another three months of access off campus. So, and you can tell you're logged in, your name will be in the upper right-hand corner. So we're logged in. And you can see there's a lot of different disciplines that they offer. Um, we have pharmacy, medical education, physical therapy, clerkship, clinical rotations, PA rotations, specialties, board review series. We're going to take a look at the medical education ebooks. And when you get to this page, you have a number of ways you can um, get to the textbooks. Um, there's in the top menu bar, you can click on text. You can also click on this icon right here that says text. Or if you know what subject you want to search, you can just put it in in this search box here. We're going to do diagnostic tests and click on search. And that takes us to the results page. And you can see we have over 2,000 results here. So we definitely want to narrow this down. And you can do that. There's a whole bunch of options on the left panel that you can narrow down with. Subject is the first one. So if we wanted to narrow by subject, we could click on biochemistry, for example. And notice it's going to limit everything. The side panel has changed and the middle panel to biochemistry. We're down to 21 results and say, oh, you didn't want to do that, we can go back. If you click on clear results, clear all, it takes us back to our original results. The other options we have here to limit by are content, media, text. This will show the book titles. And then down here, we also have tags. 
So if you see a book title that um, you want to take a look at, you can just click on it here. We'll go into Foundations of Osteopathic Medicine. And then once you get in there, we still have 166 results. We want to narrow this down a little bit more. Um, we could try using the tags. So we'll click on Diagnosis. And you can do multiple tags. So we'll do another one. We'll do Therapeutics. And then we're down to 10 results. And then again, if you want to go back, you could do clear all to take off the tags. And then clear all will take you back to your original search. The medical education discipline of the LWW Health Library, they offer um, an extensive library of books. And if you want to see all the titles they have up at the top menu bar here, if you click on text, it'll take you to that screen. And here you can see they're um, arranged by subject, by alphabetical order. And you can scroll down them like through here. Um, something I wanted to point out, they will have the new edition and they will also have a previous edition. And eventually the previous edition, um, they'll show it together for a while here. And eventually it's gonna go down here to the text archive. So if you go in the text archive, you can see here is the 15th edition, Grant's Dissector. And the two newer ones are here, 16th and 17th. And this is important. You may have a class where you need to reference an older edition, so it's good to know that this is here. Um, so what you can also do on the left side, there's a panel that you can limit to. If you don't want to scroll down through all these titles to look for something, you could just click on the subject on the left. So if we wanted to just look at biochemistry, we didn't want to see everything else. This will just limit you to the biochemistry titles right here. And then if you wanted to go back to the entire list, you would click all. And it takes you back. And then again, you can scroll down and look at everything. I did want to point out down at the bottom, there is a section called review. And here is where you're going to find all the Lippincott Illustrated Review books. So if you're ever looking for those, this is um, a great place to come to get to them. And we'll go back up. So all of the eBooks in the health library, they have the same general layout. And we're gonna go into one, I'll show you what that looks like. We'll go into Moore's Essential Clinical Anatomy. And it takes you to the table of contents page. And that's how you're gonna navigate through the book. So it's a default landing page. Um, right above the table of contents, you're going to see links for the front and back pages. And you would just navigate through these if you wanted to look at the education. You could click on this. And then there are arrows right here where you can go back and forth through the front and back and pages here. So you could just scroll through. And then if you want to go back to the book, you click on that, it'll take you back. If you're logged into your personal account, you can save content to your favorites here. Um, these stars, if you hover over a star, you're going to see add to favorites. So if I click this, it selects it, turns it gold, and then it's in my list now. If I want to remove it, you just hover again, remove from your favorites, click it, and it'll take it out. Above the chapter, um, you're going to see a keyword search. You can search this book, or if you wanted to do the full site, you could do that in the drop down here. All right, um, let's go over navigating the ebook chapter page itself and then look at some of the chapter tools. So we're going to go into chapter seven, lower limb. So for greater accessibility, there is a listen feature here. And it's what it's going to do, it's going to highlight the text as it reads it to you. So I'll demonstrate how this works. Introduction. The lower limbs, extremities, are specialized for locomotion, supporting body weight, and maintaining balance. The lower limbs are connected to the trunk by the... So you have a little control panel here. Um, here you can, it'll go backwards five seconds. You could skip forward five seconds. 
this will adjust your volume, and then this adjusts the speed of reading. Over on the left side, this little tiny box, there are more features in here. The first one, settings, this is going to be where you would change your highlighting colors. And then also your text. I'll show you that in a different spot better, though. Here, we can look at the text in this one. So here, if you want to increase the size, you would click on this and make it bigger, smaller. And then again, you can adjust the volume and the speed here. And here, if you wanted to do a different font, you have options to change that here, too. And the next feature we have here um, is called Page Mask. And what this is going to do, it's going to highlight a bar in the middle of your screen. So as you read, you can scroll down and have the text highlighted. And you can increase the size of this to make it bigger if you want, make it smaller, whatever works best for you. And the last thing here is the question mark. This will take you to a help screen. And it goes over all the features that we've looked at, plus a lot more. It's very detailed. Keyboard navigation, all kinds of stuff. So there's several tools that are available above the chapter text as well. And we'll take a look at those. The first one is views. So say you just wanted to look at just the tables. You didn't want to see anything else. If you click on tables, it's just going to pull out all the tables from chapter seven. So you can scroll down and look through those. And if I wanted to go back to text, I click on that, go back to the text. Next is share. And you have the option, you can email it to somebody. You can share on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And it says free for 72 hours here. If we click on the email, a box will pop open for you to populate. And it, you notice up here, it says recipients will receive an email with a link to um, more essential clinical anatomy. And they will not need an account to access the content. So they can use the content without account for 72 hours. So you would just populate this box and then submit it. The next option we have is to print. Then we have get permissions. I'll show you what that looks like. So they've partnered with the Copyright Clearance Center's Write Link service, and they offer um, a variety of options for reusing the content. The choices are down here in this drop down, make a selection. So you can um, reuse in a journal or magazine, dissertation, website, uh, whatever you want to do. If you don't see something, they have an option for that too. And we'll go back. And again, there is a search box at the top here for just searching in the book and then the full site. Over on the left, the little arrows, you can navigate to different chapters. So if I want to go to chapter eight, I could just click here. And it'll take me to chapter eight. And then you can um, jump to specific chapter contents here too. So if I just wanted to look at the brain, I could jump to that. Take me to that page. Let's scroll up. And I'm going to go back to chapter seven here. So on the right side, um, you can see your list of favorites um, that we've been working with here. They're also found up above under your name. If you click when you're logged into your personal account, we would click on your name and then go into my favorites. And here is where you can manage them. If you wanted to delete something, you could check it, delete it. It also lets you limit what you want to see. If I just want to see um, figures, I click on that and it just brings up figures and I don't have to see everything else. Or I could go back to everything. So down below this section on the right, we have related content. And this will have links to other textbooks that have content related to what you're reading here. And below that, we have related results from Ovid Medline. And this is very interesting. This is going to show you, um, it'll take you to articles or abstracts from journals that are related to what you're reading about. So we will go to one of those.
And you can either check Ovid for access view on the journal site, or this is a really great feature, um, LibKey Nomad in the bottom left corner. If you see this, it means that we have full access to the article. So if I click on this, it'll take you directly to it. It opens up as a PDF. And then from here, you have the option to download it or print it. And if you want to have access to this, um, we have a video. I'm going to put the link to it in the chat box that will show you how to add it. It will add as an extension in your browser up here. So it will be listed like this. Let me put that in the chat box. Okay, let's go back. So now we're going to look at extracting images from a chapter. I'm going to go back to the main page of the books. And we're going to go into Grant's Atlas of Anatomy. And we'll go into chapter six, lower limb. So right when you get here, if you see an image that you would like to capture, you can right click on it and then just save image as and we'll save it to your desktop or computer. We also have some options underneath it. The first one is view original. When you click on that, it's going to open up the full image in a new tab for you to look at. The next one is for a PowerPoint slide. If you want to have this as a slide for a presentation, you would click on it and it's going to pop up for opportunity for you to download it. I already have, I'm going to do it again. I'll show you what happens. And you could save, if you didn't want to do it to your desktop, you could save it to wherever you wanted. So we'll open it up. And here's your PowerPoint slide. And it has the source information up here where it came from. So then you could incorporate this into your presentation. The next option we have here is favorite. So again, this will add to our favorites here. If I wanted to add it, add to my favorites. And remove if you want to take it off. So in addition to the ebooks, um, LWW Health Library, they provide a lot of other resources. And you can access some of these up here in the top menu bar. And we'll quickly take a look at a, um, a few of them here. We'll look at video and audio. So again, you can narrow this down by the left panel. Um, underneath the link, there is going to be um, a link to a related textbook and chapter. And to get to the video, you would just click on the text right here next to the video icon. It takes you to the video. To start it, you can just click anywhere, and it'll start playing. The important landmarks on the head and neck from the anterior view begin superiorly at an area of just above. OK. Um, another great feature that we have here is self-assessment. And this is one where you definitely, you need to have a free account set up to um, use this. Um, you are able to create custom quizzes. Um, there's a filter box here that allows you to enter a topic, or you could jump, you know, with the alphabet here to different sections. And then you can also use the left panel to um, narrow in on subjects too. And I'll show you what this looks like. Um, we have some quizzes that happened here. If you wanted to start a quiz, we'll just pick this one. And a box pops open. And you have a choice of how many questions you want to do. If you don't want to do 33, you could do less. Um, you have the option to how many seconds do you want to take per question, if you want to make it more or less, whatever you want to do. Focus on new questions, um, questions if you got wrong, if you're retaking this and you just want to see the stuff that you missed, you could do that and check your answers immediately. And then you would just click start. And this is what it looks like when you're taking the quiz. Um, the time's counting here. It'll show you what question you're on. 
and you would just select it and then go through to the next questions here. And when you're done, you would submit the quiz. And I'm going to go back. And I'll show you this one was partial in progress. And the red means the answers were wrong. The blue means the answers were correct. If I wanted to take a look at the stat of this, I could go into here. It's going to show you that. If you wanted to resume it, you could do that. And then afterwards, um, at the end of the quiz, you're going to get a report. So you'll see view exam details. And it'll have a pretty detailed report about the questions, which ones are correct, some additional information that would be helpful. So another um, feature we have here are cases. And we'll take a quick look at that. So again, you can filter on the left, and all the cases are listed here. And you'll notice um, it already says it's going to be a PDF, so we'll open one up. And again, you can download it or print it, whatever you want to do. And we'll go back. And say you're done looking in the medical education, you want to look somewhere else. If you just hover over here in this dropdown, it's going to show the other disciplines that you can go to. So if we wanted to go to board review series, we could just go to that here. And to see all of the board review textbooks, I'll just click on text. And then here they are. Now, if we go into one, it's going to be the same format that we just looked at. Everything should look familiar. Here's your table contents page. And you can just navigate how we were before. Your favorites, they're going to carry over to the different disciplines. So if you save something here, it'll be added to your favorites, even though you added these from a different discipline. OK. And I wanted to save a few, minute for, a few minutes for questions. Are there any questions? Barbara, are there any questions in the chat box? Mitzi, there are no questions in the chat box. Okay. Well, please feel free to contact me or anybody in the library if you have any questions. And um, Barbara post, put in the link for the survey to fill out. And if there are no questions, thank you so much for attending. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.